Hey, this is Jay from Black Box Customs. Today we're gonna go through the installation of the new negative cam plate three, AKA the NCP3. First, we're gonna start off by verifying that our firearm is unloaded and safe and removing any source of ammunition from our workspace. Next, we can start removing the UBL from the Safari Line holster. This is a good opportunity to clean or remove any of the factory thread locker that's already on the factory hardware. We're gonna grab the three included T-nuts and we're gonna insert them into the left or the right slots. That's gonna be determined by which side you wear your holster. If you're running this in conjunction with the ham, this is the point in which you can attach that. The plate should still be able to move smoothly and rotate over the post without the screws being fastened. Depending on the model of the holster you're running, there are some that have posts that extend too far beyond the plate and does not allow the entire assembly to be tightened sufficiently. If this is the case with your holster, you can use the three included spacers in between the holster body and the negative cam plate. If you're running the NCP3 in conjunction with a ham, you can save the washers as they are not needed. Now we're going to loosely thread the low profile hardware that we supplied into the holster. Stop once these are slightly hand tight. We are going to start adjusting the holster position so these don't need to be fully tightened down. Next, take your choice of belt attachment, whether it's a QLS or a UBL, and place it over the pre-installed T-nuts. Use the supply hardware and Allen key to loosely fix it in place. The NCP3 is designed to allow a range of adjustment of 25 degrees. For example, the holster shown comes with a factory arbitrary positive cant of 10 degrees. The NCP3 allows you to reduce this from that positive cant through to a maximum of a negative 15 degrees worth of cant. The responsibility to determine your ideal holster can't lies on you. Experimentation using dry fire and live fire will help you get there. We use tools such as the Mantis Holster Draw Analysis app to help obtain objective data to inform our choice. We recommend you position your holster forward of your hip on the belt and running the NCP3 with a low ride belt attachment. For more information, please read the holster optimization white paper located on the Theory Police website or in the product listing on our web store. We also recommend testing and running the setup in the actual environment in which you employ your handgun. For example, standing, seated, inside a vehicle, wearing armor, etc. After you found the ideal angle that you'd like to run, we can now properly tighten down the hardware. We'll start off with removing the UBL. Once the UBL or QLS is removed, we can witness mark the position that the NCP3 is in relative to the posts on the holster. Each NCP3 comes supplied with a VC3 Vibratite thread locking compound. Apply a dab of VC3 on your hardware and allow 10 to 30 minutes to dry before assembly. Vibratite VC3 can be adjusted up to five times before needing to be reapplied. We also recommend using a paint pen or something similar to score witness marks 
on all three holster bolts and check periodically to see if the screws are backing off. Once the VC3 is applied, we can now do the final reassembly of the holster. This process is the same as how we initially set up the NCP3, with the exception of the holding compound and torquing the screws to spec. Thank you very much for watching our installation video. If you have any additional questions, please give us a call or send us an email at sales at blackboxcustoms.com. We'll catch you next time.